Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining the structure and function of a leaf. Now, firstly, just going to let you know about a few plant organs that you need to be aware of. So, plant organs include the stem, the roots, and the leaves. You don't need to know the details of the stem and the roots, but you do need to know the detailed structure of a leaf. Okay, here it is. I'll go through the different parts to it. So, obviously, we have our leaf here. Now, I'd recommend, obviously, looking at the diagram in your revision guide, because it's probably more detailed than my diagram. This is a really simplified version of it. So, the top layer, we have a wax or waxy cuticle. And that covers the very top surface of the leaf. Now, that's important because it is waterproof and prevents the plant leaf from becoming waterlogged. Now, just so you know, this is the leaf cross section. Is in, imagine we've cut through the leaf and we're looking at it from through the very thin section of the leaf. Now, the next layer down is the upper epidermis. That's the upper epidermis, that's this layer of cells here, and that is very thin. It's important that that layer is very thin because it needs to allow sunlight in to the next layer down. Now, this next layer is the palisade cells. So they are palisade cells, and the reason I've coloured them green is because they contain many chloroplasts, which contains chlorophyll, and that's what absorbs sunlight to provide energy for photosynthesis. So this layer is the layer that absorbs the light for photosynthesis. Next layer, here, you can see there are many air spaces, like a sponge. So this is known as the spongy mesophyll layer. Uh, so that is a spongy mesophyll layer. And the reason it has many air spaces is because it needs to allow gases to diffuse in and out. So obviously for photosynthesis, the, leaves, the plant needs carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide diffuses in through to these palisade cells. And oxygen, which is produced in photosynthesis, diffuses out. Okay. Now this lower layer would be known as the lower epidermis. So this is the lower epidermis, but we have these cells here. And they're called guard cells. So you can see there's a very small hole in the underside of the leaf. Now there are many of these on every leaf. It's called a stomata, or stoma. And the simple function of that is just to allow those gases in and out. So carbon dioxide in and oxygen out. Now the guard cells can either expand or shrink, and that would either that would allow more gases in or out, and also allow water out. Okay. So that is the basic structure and function of the different parts of a leaf. You need to be aware of each part and what its role is. You also need to be able to label it on a diagram if they provide you one. So make sure you're familiar with it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Rushdiffbio. Any requests, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much.